Hey guys, it's Ketchell. The CL90 project is coming along really well. This past month, I've put a lot of time into some of the fabrication, this time for the battery mount. The mount itself required some grinding and welding to allow for four bolt holes to hold down the battery, which is now where the gas tank would have gone. I've also finally gotten a new rear sprocket to deliver power to the rear reel. I finally got to take this thing for a test ride. Let's go. Now, as you already know for this project, I really didn't want to do any welding or grinding. I had hoped to mount the battery using 3D printed parts near or below the motor. As I got further into the project, I realized based on the weight of the battery, it'd be a better idea to have it where the gas tank would have gone. With that, I moved forward with getting rid of the gas tank and creating some mounts for that battery. For the mount itself, I used the mounting bracket for the battery. Now this did take a lot of work lining it up correctly. Even with all that patience in getting it lined up, I think I was still a few millimeters off in getting it perfectly centered on that frame. However, it looks pretty good. Now the mount itself for the battery is one cast aluminum part in the back, which is mounted with two bolts, and then a plastic mount, which is screwed onto that aluminum mount and then itself held down by two more bolts. Now my welding is a little shabby. I haven't welded in about two years and I really didn't want to weld for this project. It took a while for me to dial in the settings for these washers as I needed to get the battery level. Um, I had a lot of trouble where the welder would trip the breaker on the outside switches. So there's a lot of back and forth into the house, flipping the breaker as these outlets aren't really meant for that kind of a capacity of amperage. However, once the washers were all welded down, I was able to grind them flat. I will eventually do a little bit more with these washers to make sure it looks proper and will likely use some Bondo to make it flush with the frame. Now I also had to grind down the lip on the front of the frame near the steering column to ensure that I was able to slide the battery onto the frame and had enough clearance to take it off as well. Uh, really, it just meant a little bit more time grinding at that lip, but overall, I think this looks really well. The battery mount is solid and I've had no issues with it whatsoever.
All right, onto the rear sprocket. Now the chain that comes with the kit is T8F. For that, I had to get a specific rear sprocket that would match that chain type. You'll see her here in a second. After I had drilled out the center to meet the original sprocket dimensions, the four bolt holes are a little bit off. With that, I'll just say, make sure you take a double look at where you're drilling to avoid these situations. So, you see anything wrong here? This should have been done like that, but <laughs> still got a little bit holding together. Uh, we're just gonna go with it as is. Uh, at some point, I will redo this to shift the holes. That one's on me, but we can keep moving forward. Just uh, thought I might put that out there. I always double check where you're drilling. So it works, but <laughs> shit, man, <laughs> shit happens. Now the sprocket I'm holding here, it has 72 teeth. I've bumped that down as I've been working with the gear ratio. So the fact that I messed up these drill holes doesn't really matter as it's not going to be the sprocket that I end up using. I've also gone ahead and printed another motor mount. The previous one I was working with was a little broken and the bolt holes were actually a little bit off. So I printed a motor mount with about 80% infill just so it'd be a little bit more structurally sound when I actually tested this thing. And I would feel a little bit more confident with the rigidity of the mount itself. All right, so it's time to put this thing back together for a little bit of a test ride. Uh, this is a long time coming up. I got this bike back in December and since day one it's been apart so it's a bit fun for me to put it all back together and see how it rides and really just take it a spin around the block. I gotta say I got a lot of head turns mostly because it was a little bit louder than I expected to but that's all right. I bought this chain on Amazon. I had to buy two of them based on the length of the chain that is provided on Amazon. However that's all right it comes with a chain breaker so with the two I put them together and then broke it off where it met up in the middle. Now for this, I will mention. I had one scenario where the chain got caught based on it being too loose. So just be careful of that. I also finally got to install the new bearings I got for the steering column. So I popped those in and then put on the new triple tree, which has been painted. Being able to ride this bike uh, for the first time was a lot of fun. However, I will say it was very slow, much slower than I thought it would be. Makes me really question if I want to stick with 2000 watts for this motor. So we'll see if I decide to switch it out in the next video. Basically the ratings of the bike are, it's a 48 volt battery with a 19.2 amp hour discharge. The controller has a rated current of 33 amps, which is the most limiting I would say. And then finally, the motor is 2000 watts, 48 volts. I am considering upping it to 72 volts, 3000 watts with the battery to match. So we'll see if that gets updated on this next video. And here it is, finally all put together. A little shabby with the wires, but you know it'll do for a test ride around the block. Now, the one thing I was worried about is the throttle response on the rear wheel is a little sluggish. I don't know if that's just a bad um, product sent to me from Amazon or what, but uh, I just need to play with it a little bit more. You know, possibly could have set something up wrong. But yeah, here's a final video of me spinning around. It looks pretty sleek. I'm probably a little bit too tall for it, but that's all right. It was a lot of fun. So that's it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Catch out.